do have another river bottom that's got barley in it, but it's inevitably covered the exact same way. Okay, as promised, 10 seconds. I guess we'll wait and see. I mean, what else can we do? Well, y'all, I think I'm going to wrap this um, rainy vlog, rainy day vlog. I feel like there's a song there. Rainy day vlog. Do you know that? Do you know that song? I grew up on, I'm totally digressing. I was weaned on Eastern North Carolina barbecue and Eastern North Carolina beach music. I was. That's what my parents listened to. So that was like the Embers, the Four Tops, um, the Supremes. That kind of went in there too, but yeah. Beach music is a thing. It's where people, it's like what people shag to. My mom and dad took lessons. I only learned the like four, the four beat step, but I can do it. Anyway, there's a song. Rainy day, rainy day bells ring through my window. I don't remember how it goes. I'm going to listen to it right now though. It struck a chord in me. And for some reason, rainy day vlog came to my mind. <sighs> Probably going to delete all this, but we'll see what kind of mood I'm in. I'm in when I'm editing. Anywho, this is where we're at. I've spent the entire afternoon on the couch. I don't do that, y'all. I don't do that very often. The whole family has been inside. My husband is has been watching westerns all afternoon. He just got up and said he, he had to go outside and do something, so he and my son just went to check out the amount of rain, the amount of water <laughs> on the farm and down the road. I will check it out in the morning. But now, I'm going to finish working on supper, and I might, I might have let the, um, I might have let the ribs stay in the crock pot a little too long, which, is that possible? Yeah, it's probably possible. I could have turned them off a little while ago, but it's all going to be good because we're going to smother them in barbecue sauce, and it's not going to matter. They're definitely falling off the bone, though. Let me show you. Okay, here they are. They are, yeah, they're, they are, trust me, they're falling, falling right off the bone. Um, so, they're good. So, I just cook them in the crock pot, then I'm going to put them in a pan, smother them in barbecue sauce, broil them for just a few minutes, and they're done. Typically with this meal, my favorite, my hand, I burnt my finger. Typically with this meal, my favorite thing to do is mashed potatoes and green beans. I really hope I have green beans. I know I have potatoes. We'll see. If not, I'll find something green-ish. I'm doing coffee by phone light this morning because the power just went out. 2.7 inches of rain and it's still coming down. Wow. It's very windy, isn't it? It's very windy out there. And raining very hard. Okay. Well, we'll see what this day holds. This has more rain <laughs> and mud. Well, that is a wicked looking cloud up there. Can't see it. All back there, it's dark. And just a little windy. Well, the sun came up. <laughs> We're, um, we are going to town to get some, to get a biscuit and see what's going on. Make sure our power outage is reported. Man, it's windy. It's so weird. Not very February-like.
want to go across there? No. No, no. <laughs> he's not Austin. He thinks he's funny. Mm. At least the bridge ain't underwater. <laughs> the bridge isn't underwater. <laughs> the new bridge. Yeah, they did. They raised the bridge, up they raised the bridge but the road itself is, <laughs> is underwater. Wow. I mean, wow. Yeah. This is reminiscent of uh, Hurricane. It's reminiscent of Hurricane a year and a half ago. Michael. Yeah. This is so crazy. I don't know. That's, that's, that's it, way out. All, all wheels, so it's over top of our most top bottom. Yeah. Look at that water down there. <laughs> oh, well, water's not supposed to be there, is it? <laughs> chimes and the wind it's like a it's like a scene out of twister <laughs> that's what it reminds me of it's warm this morning but it's gonna drop mm, they said another 15 degrees by the afternoon hmm. we don't eat breakfast together a lot <laughs> in the dark What do you think, Bonnie? Said I think I, I wish somebody would give me some biscuit. That was a puddle. Yeah. Just a little tiny one, too. Let's go see what the river bottom looks like this morning. <laughs> Got a pretty good guess. Wow. <laughs> that's about as bad as I've seen it mm -hmm. so the river's supposed to be on the other side of that line of trees just said there'll be a, a lot of trash in the fields to pick up which is definitely true you can see um see logs floating and sand right what more sand i don't know it's hard to tell about the sand oh see. Well, wow That's 
not good. Um, yeah, that's not good at all. There's always a little creek here. <laughs> oh, but the river's not always... I don't know, how many yards away to the river where it's supposed to be? Well over a hundred yards. Four hundred yards. Oh, four hundred. Yeah, <laughs> four hundred yards back. So, so the um, the barley would be on the other side of that little group of trees, and over there in a field. Yeah. Huh. Water, water, water is amazing. It can do so much damage. I guess we'll wait and see. I mean, what else can we do? Sorry, babe. I mean, could the barley still survive? Well, survive or not, how much water can stand? How long the water stays over? Yeah. Y'all didn't finish your breakfast yesterday. And now look at it. Well, here comes the sun, a little bit. Hey girls. Want me to get out? I will. Alrighty. Now, gotta get it back. Good as new. Or what does Lawrence always say? Good as snuff, not near as dusty. There's one. Have you heard that one? Good as snuff, not near as dusty. If you know, you know. Trying to get out to go. 
feed like three times. The sun comes out and then it goes back in and just two seconds ago it was sleeting. Can't see it now. It was bouncing off the hood. So strange. It's whether it's like off its meds. It's off its rocker. Hmm. What do you reckon? Let's see what it's gonna do. It looks like it's gonna rain here. <laughs> Blue sky back behind yonder. I don't know. That's just a hole of <laughs> fix the clear up. After getting absolutely drenched yesterday, I'm, I'm really hoping we don't have to do that again today. It's just not raining this hard. It's not raining hard like it was yesterday. But it just keeps coming and going. Can't find a pocket. Pocket of sun. Mm. Let's see, where is she? Bonnie found a pocket. I said I found a pocket. Yeah, but I can lay in and be warm and dry and rotten. Well, the sun did come out. So did the wind. Still blowing. But... We need sun and wind <laughs> to dry up some of this mud for sure. So, happy to see it. Bonnie said she found the sun. You found the sun. That was a good place to sit, isn't it, sweetie? Yes, yes it is. So I'm not, I'm, I'm a smart girl. I'm a smart girl, Ma. <laughs> the wind just blew me in the gate. about the wind blowing it all away but it looks like it's laying pretty good that's good sun came back out maybe it'll stay we just came back to check and it's come up a lot since this morning that was just a few hours ago maybe two foot Whew. Okay, changing hats, putting on a photographer hat tonight and heading to my church now um, for a really amazing, amazing event. It's called Night to Shine. It is a prom for people with special needs uh, that was started and is endorsed and put on through the Tim Tebow Foundation. Our church did it for the first time last year and it was one of the best nights of my life just just an amazing event so I'm totally pumped to be going and doing that tonight and um, yeah maybe I'll be able to show you a little bit well last night's night to shine event went amazing I did not get any video because I was busy taking photographs but it really was another amazing event and I highly encourage you if you're not already involved in one of these to find one in your local area and get involved next year it happens one night a year all around the country and the world 
and I think there's over 700 locations that participated this year. So, oh, it, you owe it to yourself to do this because it is the most rewarding thing I've ever done, being involved in. Truly amazing, amazing people, and um, yeah, my face hurts from smiling so much. <laughs> Oh, my feet hurt from dancing and taking pictures on the dance floor. It was, uh, it was just a blast. And yeah, get involved if you're not. Trust me. Trust me on this one. You will be glad you did. So we are happy to see the sun out today. Yes, um, some people have been sending me messages and asking. Um, our area, the Danville, Virginia area, Caswell County, North Carolina area, definitely got flooding. More historic flooding. Um, I think the river crested a little over 28 feet. I'm pretty sure that's what I read. So I think the highest ever recorded was 30 or 31 feet back in 72. And then um, two years ago, two years ago, 2018 with Hurricane Michael. So do we get, do we get flooding here? Yes, we do. Some people have asked if it's always this wet here. No, it's not always. It just seems like the last few years, there's been an awful lot of it, um, you know, I don't know. It's just what's been happening. Um, so we, where our house is, people have asked about our house. Our house, as I showed in the last video, is definitely up high enough where we don't have to worry about flooding there. Knock on wood. Um, but our river bottoms definitely get out and uh, there's definitely, there's roads closed all around. So it's receding though. I'm glad it's receding. That's over with. Um, this too shall pass, and I just really hope and pray this is not a precedent for 2020. I really hope it's not, but if it is, we'll deal with it, because what else can you do? All right, we're going to keep feeding, see what else we can get done today. It is a beautiful morning, y'all. It's cold, it's still muddy, but the sun's shining. And the limbs are cut, and it's, it's a good day. <laughs> All right, babies. Woo. Well, at least it didn't rain anymore. Fill up the trough. movie um one I was upset when I said you guys in my last video because I'm supposed to say y'all but whatever maybe y'all are rubbing off on me some of y'all on me um two I'm very upset that I forgot to show you the rest of the short rib recipe <laughs> what was I thinking <laughs> they turned out good basically if you missed it I'll link here I think I'm right this time. Um, the last video, I showed how I make short ribs. Let me just tell you right now how to finish it. Put them in the crock pot. Cook. Take out of a crock pot when they're falling off the bone. Put them in a pan or a skillet. Put barbecue sauce on them. I use Sweet Baby Ray's. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Put them in the oven under broil for, I don't know, however long you want until it starts bubbling a little bit. It doesn't take long. Take them out and eat them. That's it. Shortest recipe ever. You're welcome. Tonight, tonight we are due for a cast iron steak because we have not had one in a while. And we actually have quite a few steaks left in our freezer. 
and we're getting ready to fill the freezer back up in another month or so. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna eat some steak. I'll show you that. I've already showed that in another video. Ding, ding, right there. Um, it's really easy, but anyway, maybe I'll just show you the steaks cooking because there's something very cathartic about watching steaks cook in butter in a cast iron skillet. I mean, to me it is anyway. So maybe I'll put like 10 seconds of that in this video and you can just chill out watching steaks cook or not. You can skip, whatever. All right, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna stop talking now. Mmm, meats. Sirloin, no, not tonight. T-bone, sirloin, sirloin. I love sirloins, but I like to use those for like fajitas. So, the big old T-bone. Two, two, four, uh-oh, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Steak, steak, steak. Okay, that was pretty lame. Real quick Elmo update. I just gave him his supper. I just gave him his supper and he said he loves it. Don't you, buddy? I'm loving my feed and my hay and my water. I'm eating good. I'm eating like a big boy. So I can be a big boy. <laughs> All right, see you in the morning, bug. That's a lot of meats, y'all. Yeah. Guess what else is coming to the shop, y'all? Yes, butter dishes that say spread butter, not hate. <sighs> Have you ever? I, I'm literally about to pee, I'm so excited. But I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna control myself. That much meat requires the Mac Daddy skillet and a little bit of butter. That is a skillet, y'all. One of my viewers gave me this skillet last year. I don't use it a whole lot, but when I need it, it sure comes in handy. Love it. Okay, as promised, 10 seconds of pure steak bliss. You ready? 